Alrighty, got ourselves a game here between Contrarian's Codex and BB's Cookie. 22, 23, 22. Lizardman and Nurgle. This is an interesting Nurgle build, I haven't seen something like it. Pestigors are pretty usual, but then a Herald of Nurgle, Double Rot Knight, and a Plague Ogre. I legitimately haven't seen anybody use Plague Ogre since, like, the DLC came out. So for the Lizardmen frontline, we have five skin cohorts of Javelins, Croxagores, lots and lots of Croxagores, four of them, the Shredder of Lustria, a Rev Crystal, and a Life Slon, both for a lot of healing. The Slon only brought regrowth. No side for Nurgle. Pestigore frontline, as we saw, double Rot Knights, one of which is the uh, Rotting Riders. And we have a Chaos Knight with Lances, Plague Ogre with Great Weapons, and a Herald Nurgle of Nurgle, Fleshy Abundance, and Stream of Corruption. The frontline fight has started very quickly. Chaos Knights plunging into Skinks. Trying to get rid of those guys. The Salon is going to throw a Bound Banishment on their backside. Should do a decent amount of damage as the Herald of Nurgle is actually diving down onto this as well. Herald of Nurgle, all of the Demon Heralds are deceptively good combatants. But that Banishment from the Salon is doing a lot of work on the Chaos Knights of Lances, especially paired with that Blood Statue of Spite, already taking them down below half HP. That is a very, very good start for the Lizardmen. Elsewhere, things aren't going so well. The Rotting Riders got really good charge on these Croc scores, took a ton of damage off of them. It looks like the Lizardman Frontline is suffering a lot of damage, though. Nurglings are already demonic and stability crumbling, because I guess, of course. Look at their leadership. My, it was minus 43 while they were at, like, half HP. But, anyway, Dread Saurian running through, routing off a bunch of things, especially the Shredder of Lustria. He does have that minus 8 leadership aura from Dread Aversion. Neither side has captured the point just yet. This Herald of Nurgle is still just sitting next to Slon. Hasn't really managed to get too many attacks off because this is one issue I have with Slons is they have very buggy hitboxes because they're they're giant model, but their hitbox is like tiny. So a lot of times Slons will be deceptively tanky in melee because certain units just literally can't hit them, and we're seeing that here. That's why I constantly complain that Slons need to get nerfed. Uh, and people are like, why? They've already been nerfed a bunch. It's like, no, those big stupid bastards should die if they get caught in melee. But they often don't because of their buggy ass hitbox. Plague Ogre's Great Weapon's gonna fight the Shredder of Austria. This should be a good target for them. Good bonus versus large, good arm piercing. They're surrounding the Shredder and getting some good hits in there. The Shredder is trying to attack the Rotting Riders, but he's currently trying to path through the Plague Ogres, so he needs to stop and actually just take the fight that's in front of him instead of taking all this free damage walking into nothing. The Herald of Nurgle is now starting to land some attacks on the Salon, and the Pestigors have joined the fight. And still, the Shredder is trying to get to the Rotting Riders instead of just accepting reality and fighting the Plague Ogres. It's taking a bunch of free damage and does really need to refocus as the Plague Ogres have already gotten 1,600 value from just whooping on the Shredder. Slon gets a Rev Crystal heal while more Skinks rally and trying to come to his aid, but even more Nurgle forces come to destroy him. We have the Rotting Riders. Rolling straight through this Skinks, trying to chase down the Salon, who has now taken about half his HP, though he has healing up plenty. Croxcores chasing Pestigores off the map. Other Croxcores can rally, but here's the Shredder of to try and provide some of that heal the Salon desperately needs. Nurgle is up on the balance of power. They have also captured the center points. They're slowly taking up on points there. But never underestimate the Shredder, as he does go piling straight through these guys. Already routes off some Pestigores, and the Rotting Riders... If they route, they lose that ward save. So they need to be careful not to lose that extra defensiveness. Another banishment from the Salon is going to scoop up Pestigores here. A lot of good damage taking out the infantry Nurgle has left. Nurgle is relying now on Plague Ogres and various Cav pieces to do all their damage. As the Shredder continues to try and peel for the Salon who is so surrounded. He just keeps getting harassed by the Herald and the Rotting Riders, all of it. In the distance, we have Plague Ogres fighting alongside Chaos Knights against Croc Scores and the Rev Crystal. Both those fights should be great for the Plague Ogres, so I think they'll still keep getting more value. As Fleshy Abundance and Locus of Fecundities have healed up these Rotting Riders almost to their heal cap. Curse the Slug trying to slow down the Shredder, but there the Salon finally got a good surrounding onto him. Took a lot of damage and it just keeps coming. The Shredder can't peel all of these things nearly fast enough. There's the terror out from the Salon, and judging by how much damage he's taking, he's either going to die or just shatter any moment now. And the Lizardmen will be without their leadership, but speaking of being without your leadership, Rot Knight's running away from the Shredder of Lustria, and the Shredder is right behind the Herald of Nurgle and the Rotting Riders. They'll have to be a little careful. 
as they try and finish off this lawn. I can appreciate that. Another Locus of Fecundity, Heal and Vigor regen. But the Terror Route's coming in for the Rotting Riders. Nope, they hold on. They hold on, they get away, nearly heal capped. Bounce power still, even after the Salon died, it's pretty close, slightly Nurgle favored. We do have Rot Knights that'll come back any second now. Crocs are trying to chase them, but they're just way too slow. They're way too slow to do all that nonsense. The so Shredder goes from trying to defend the Salon to trying to defend the Rev Crystal. Fighting into the Plague Ogres as they decide maybe this isn't the fight for them. Start to run away, lose a couple models on the retreat as the Shredder keeps just tearing them limb from limb. Another Fleshy Abundance onto, honestly, an already almost heal-capped Riding Riders. I don't think you need that Fleshy Abundance. They have natural regen, so a lot of that spell is going to unfortunately go to waste. We have this Rev Crystal that is trying to heal up the Croc scores, though the leadership is not doing too good. In comes an overcasted stream of corruption down the Skinks to try and get rid of them, but Croc scores don't seem to mind it too much, and the Herald of Nurgle is taking a lot of damage. Riding Riders are heal-capped, as we said. And this Shredder is still just vibing. There's not a lot that can kill him, honestly. Everything's too low to kill him. So the Shredder can kill everything on the map given time, but time's not exactly his friend as we're already halfway up the capture point. For Lizardmen, all of a sudden everything breaks besides the Rev Crystal and the Shredder, but the Shredder is still doing fantastically as he does, pushing back the Rotting Riders. Little machine gun turrets firing at them as they run away. If the Shredder can't catch them, the machine gun sure can. Not the only threat out there. They've still down taking a lot of damage, too. Harold Nurgle diving back in once more. Bounce power still 50-50-ish. Looking around the map, I don't see any reserves of Lizardmen power. It does seem to be this is it. The Shredder... <laughs> the Shredder. The Shredder caked in blood. Running around, still chomping his way through Nurgle forces. 300 tickets. That means there's 200 seconds left to win this game. Just above three minutes to kill all these things. Nurgle still running down some Croc scores over here. Rotting Riders continue to be a pest. The Rev Crystal has been saved, actually, by the Shredder, and the Shredder takes out the Plague Ogres. Those incredibly annoying anti-large things that have gotten 2,700 damage value from just slamming dinosaurs and Croc scores. But uh, did get rid of them. That leaves just this Rot Knight that's not feeling so good. Maybe they can get another Fleshy Abundance and heal up. Shredder doesn't want to let that happen. And the Rev Crystal is going to move to start taking the point. It looks like the Shredder realizes that he's going to need to take the point too, as Nurgle's just buying for time, trying to rely on this capture point to win it for him. Chaos Knight's also routed away. Everything's routing so much, stuff has to start shattering soon. Because these Pestivores are on their way back in, but they're going to route, so is that a Shatter? Yeah, it's a Shatter, they're gone. All right, the Shredder needs to walk towards the point, get his capture weight on there, because these two single entities have pretty... Terrible capture weight right now. Capture weight 3.0. 3.0. The Rotnates only have 2.5. Weird. I honestly thought they would do better than single entities. That's weird. So neither side has a lot of capture weight right now. Okay. Cool. Fleshy Abundance, healing up the last Rot Knight. That's what Nurgle was stalling for. We are very, very close to the capture point, taking up the Lizardmen. It forces Nurgle into the fight, but on the charge, the Rot Knights with their armor-piercing and anti-large absolutely destroy the Vistildon, who chucks out one last Rev Crystal heal for the Shredder of Lustria, knowing he is dead. Just wanted to give his friend a little bit more HP, and the Shredder is pathing through here. Nice and easy. Terror routed off one Rot Knight. Terror routes off the Chaos Knights as well. Might turn to a full route. Turns into a Shatter. And the Shredder stays on the point, but he's having such difficulties capturing it as Nurgle is bringing it back into their favor. Capture point's ticking up. We have 70 seconds left for the Shredder to either win the entire game or capture that point. Rot Knights are back in. And Rot Knights are back out. The Shredder remains dominant on the point, but again, Nurgle kind of reset the progress the Rev Crystal had been making. And the Shredder cannot leave this point. He almost does, but then he veers back towards it. His machine guns are still firing and everybody runs away, so he's still getting some damage out here and there. But the Herald of Nurgle backs off. Once again, probably Locus of Fecundity, if he still has it, just for the Vigor. No, he doesn't have any. So, they're just buying time. They think he can't capture it in time now. They're trying to weigh how quickly he's capturing it versus how many seconds are left. 
25 seconds. Capture point is halfway captured. Down to 19 seconds. He is not capturing it fast enough. It looks like this game is over. 10 seconds left. And Nurgle is just going to charge him, it looks like. They're a little worried he'll get it over the line. But 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not enough time. Nurgle wins. Croxagores and Skinks not doing a lot. The Shredder of Lustria with 6,900 value. Meanwhile, the Herald of Nurgle and the Pestigores didn't do amazing. Plague Ogres did great. Rot Knights both did really, really well. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of units getting a lot of value. And the two healing factions facing off on the point. Well, it was fun. It was a good game. GG's. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.